Ground loot is broken. Well, that is what I heard from Reddit. Over the past weeks, I played a lot and didn't notice any major issues. To really test this, I did a short project live on stream in which I ran around 85 toxic sewer maps to see if ground loot is truly broken. The answer will surprise you. Night won't because ground loot is totally fine. <laughs> Hi, I'm Daniel. I did this project twice with two different builds partially to see the difference in speed, but also to show you the strategy with a less zoom-oriented build. First off, I have an extremely strict filter, which may rival Balamage's filter, so if you barely see any loot, that's why. If you pick up more loot than me, you might make more per hour, but it also takes you longer and, of course, more clicks. Be careful about your wrists and don't forget to stretch. Second, as with most endgame strategies in PoE, you do want all four Void Stones socketed in your Atlas. In addition, I had around 130 Atlas passive points, but I'm sure you can do a less profitable version with around 90 points. Both Atlas strategies focused on maps, scarabs, and increased effect of map modifiers for the most part. I added shrines to the second project. Who, who doesn't want to get an acceleration shrine and go zoom zoom? You can find links to both Atlas skill trees in the description below. Starting with the first project, I ran around 85 toxic sewer maps, which I bought for about two divines and crafted them to have 70% or more quantity of items. I also had no scarabs or fragments. During this project, I did every single league mechanic related to 3.25, including the boss, but I ignored every other league mechanic. To your dismay, I was a meta cuck deadeye lightning arrow, which had a headhunter. Don't worry, a headhunter is not necessary for this strategy as seen later. After two and a half hours, I made about nine divines per hour. That is really heckin' solid for an Alkin goal strategy. Now for the second project. I wanted to have a similar strategy, but juice it up. So I changed the Atlas skill tree to have shrines, used the domination map mod to get even more shrines, and thus more magic monsters in my map. On top of that, I used all four Sacrifice Fragments and a Domination Scarab. If you haven't done a T17 boss yet to fully upgrade your map device, remove one Fragment and you should be fine. Of course, this is less Alk and Go now, but thanks to the currency exchange market, you can quickly get lots of Fragments and Scarabs from other players. Still, it requires some additional investment Two to three divines I paid to get 85 toxic sewer maps. Speaking of maps, I crafted them to have at least 20% monster pack size or more. To spice things up even more, I wanted a very different build compared to Deadeye. It's a build that most people like to play. Righteous Fire Chieftain. Of course, I followed Pox's League Starter on his website and did some slight changes to add Oriath's End and a Gold Flask. The build is probably around 20 Divines, depending on the unique prices. It works great for mapping, thanks to Hinekora's Death Fury and Oriath's End, exploding the entire screen. As mentioned, I added a Gold Flask, which I didn't have with the Deadeye character. For people who don't know, more rarity drops higher quality of loot, which can convert to more gold. In addition, I skipped every single 3.25 league mechanic, beside Bismuth. This made maps even faster, but of course didn't get me ore, which could be used for shipments. I also skipped most other league mechanics, like Breach, Abyss, Legion, and so on. Sorry, Ritual Enjoyers, it ain't for me. But to get to the point, after I ran my maps in about three hours, I roughly made eight divines an hour. Really solid for a juiced up Alk and Ghost strat with a 20 divine build. For the conclusion and to give you a better overview, let me show you the most important info next to each other. The Deadeye character was probably worth 200 divines compared to the Chieftain, which had around 20 divines. In both projects, I ran around 85 toxic sewer maps. I crafted the maps differently depending on the project. 
Running all those maps took me about 2.5 hours with the Deadeye and about 3 hours with the Chieftain. This doesn't include trading or crafting the maps. Both had roughly the same Atlas skill tree with around 130 points. I didn't use any fragments or scarabs with the Deadeye, but did use some with the Chieftain, which can add additional cost to this strategy. On top of that, I did use the map modifier Domination with the Chieftain, adding another 3 Chaos per map. And quite important, this league is gold. I had around 830,000 gold with the Deadeye and around 970,000 gold with the Chieftain. The gold flask on the Chieftain mattered a lot more than I expected. I hope this shows that ground loot is not broken and I'm happy to report that you can make decent divines per hour with a basic ult and goal strategy. Thanks to Pox for his amazing Righteous Fire build guide and the website pathofpathing.com, which made it very easy to experiment with different Atlas skill tree strategies. Links to all the important stuff in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe and don't forget to stay hydrated, gamers.